Just Shapes and Sounds, which Hi. is a very popular game behind us, apparently. Can you tell us why this game is drawing such a crowd? The game would be nothing without music. Yeah. So that's pretty much why we just have big-ass TV and big-ass speakers and big-ass music. So It's a very, very good strategy. Yeah. So uh, you mentioned that the music is a big part of this game. Yes. Can you explain what it is? Well, the game is pretty simple. It's a rhythmic bullet hell that's co-op. The music is a big red thing on the screen, and you try to avoid it and you just try to survive through the entire stage. So that makes it sound really simple, but we just played it and it was actually very, very difficult. So do you think you've intentionally made this a tough game? Most of the team are fans of really hard games, and especially the designer was a big Super Hexagon fan that has records that I cannot even fathom how he makes it. Yeah. But yeah, he just lo we just love hard games, so it's pretty intentional. So is it mostly original music or have you collaborated with artists on it? This is all music that we buy from artists. Usually indie artists that are really, 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 really good. I'm looking at a camera to make sure that people know they're awesome. And we just want to promote indie artists that just make great music. So for my final question, what is your personal favorite thing about the game? People's reaction about it. It's either swears or smiles. It's all I feed on. That's awesome, thanks very much. Thank you very much. So Just Shapes and Sounds is a very, very full-on game. Uh, in passing, it kind of reminded me of Child of Eden in that the music kind of interacts with what the screen is doing. They're really, really closely related. But this one is a lot more full-on. Where if you've played Child of Eden, it's kind of um, a little bit peaceful, but gets hectic at times. This is full-on the entire time. It's exhausting. There are other players who are darting around the screen trying to avoid the things that can kill you or knock you out. Sometimes you have to save them, but sometimes you can't even make it without uh, dying yourself. So it's really full on upbeat techno music that matched all of the levels that I played, which makes it both really intense and kind of stressful, but still a delight to play. I'm Alana, and thanks for watching Button Bash. <laughs>